For this work, we need an odd number of chains. I'll make a foundation row of 19 half knots, also known as Solomon knots or lover's knots. Start by making one slip knot. Then raise the loop and hold it in place with your finger and your thumb. The yarn needs to come into the loop, so yarn over hook and pull it through the loop. Keep holding your loop and now insert the hook into the loop. Bring the yarn through and make one double crochet to secure it. You've just made the first half knot. Again, raise the loop, hold it in place. The hook should go under the yarn. Pull it through the loop. Now the hook goes into the loop. Bring the yarn through. Bring the yarn through and work one double crochet in the loop you've just made. We've got two half knots now. Again, raise the loop, hold it in place, yarn over hook and pull the yarn through the loop as if you would work a chain. Now work one double crochet into this loop. We've just made our third half knot. Again raise the loop, hold it in place, yarn over hook, pull the yarn through, work a double crochet into the loop and this is the fourth half knot. Again, raise the loop, hold it in place, yarn over hook, bring it through and work one double crochet into this loop. There. And again, raise the loop, hold it in place, yarn over hook, pull it through work one double crochet into the loop you've just made. Keep working this way until we have a total of 19 knots. I've just worked my 19 half knots. Now skip one, two, three half knots and work one double crochet into the next double crochet. This is how it should look. Now work two half knots, one, two, skip two half knots and work one double crochet into the next double crochet. One double crochet into the double crochet you have another space. Work another two half knots. One, two, skip two half knots and work another double crochet into the next double crochet. We have two spaces now. Work another two half knots, one, two, skip one, two half knots, work a double crochet into the next double crochet. Continue working these half knot spaces until the end. I've arrived at the end of the row where I have two half knots left. I work one double crochet into the first chain of the foundation row. And this way I've finished the first row. Now for the next rows and all the others, I start with three half knots. One. Two.
two and three. Turn and in the space where we have the first half knot, one double crochet and the second half knot, work a double crochet into that double crochet in the middle of the space. One double crochet into the double crochet of the space. This is what it looks like. Now work two half knots. One, two. Work one double crochet into the double crochet of the next space. Double crochet into that double crochet of the next space. And now work two half knots. One, two. And work one double crochet into the double crochet of the next space. There. One double crochet into that double crochet. Work another two half knots now. One. Two. Work one double crochet into the double crochet of the next space. And I keep working like this until the end of the row. I have arrived at the end of the row and here we have three half knots of the previous row, the bottom one, the edge and the top one. Work one double crochet into the double crochet after the first knot. Now we have two half knots left, one that's the edge of the work and the bottom one. And now I start the next row, always working three half knots. One, two, and three. Turn and work one double crochet into the double crochet of the next space. There. That's what it looks like. Work two half knots. One. Two. Work one double crochet into the next double crochet of the space. Double crochet into the double crochet of the next space. Work two half knots now. One, two, and work one double crochet into the double crochet of the next space. Repeat this until you arrive at the last space with three half knots. I've arrived at the end of the row and we have this last space and I work one double crochet into the first double crochet of that three half knot space. First double crochet there work one double crochet and this we've arrived at the end of this row and now to start the following row we need three half knots 
one, two, and three. Turn and do one double crochet in the first double crochet into the double crochet of that space. See, this is how it is. Work two half knots, one, two, and work one double crochet into the double crochet of the next space. Double crochet, there. And this is how we work until we get to the end of the row and all the rows until you reach the length you desire. I've worked mine until I reached one meter 70. Cut the yarn and finish it off.